Hey. Hey, thanks for coming by. Good faith. Upstairs, with Lisa. All right. Guy's night. Carly's still in Montana. Kids are at the sitters. Let's go. Jack, what do you know about Keith Morrissey? This isn't Guy's night. When you were checking him out for Julia's murder, did anything turn up? We hadn't gotten too far before your family started confessing right and left. Why? There's a guy upstairs with a gun talking about how much money Keith owes him. How do you know that? I heard. You, you heard you just happened by an open door and there was a guy talking on the phone about Keith? Yeah, something maybe, like that. Maybe you heard wrong. No, Keith owes a lot of money. He tried to raid JJ's trust fund, come on. Jackson had him checked out. Why? Because her instincts told her that something was off with the guy, and turns out she was right. The guy is trouble. And today, Faith tells me that he's moving into the guest house. He's gonna be around my kids 24-7. And so those are your concerns, the, the kids? Yeah. What does Lily say about this? You're gonna talk to her about no, it. No, no, no way, man. Come on. This is between the two of you. She won't listen to me. She'll listen to you. This was a total ambush. Yeah, it was. So just do it. Talk to her about our concerns. Our concerns? Yeah. Come on. It's not asking a lot. Just do it. Do it for me. Don't let me down here. I really appreciate this. Just lay it out for Lily. All the facts about Keith. You say it, she'll get it. They're not my facts, Holden. Well, then check it out for yourself. Lucinda had a document from the bank saying that Keith tried to get money out of JJ's account. I'm not saying you made it up. I'm just saying it feels kind of weird. It's still the truth. Hi. Hi. Uh, Mrs. Snyder said that you are gonna have faith for the rest of the night. Yeah, I would have, but something came up. Where is Lily? Uh, she went out for the night. Yes, we are, Pumpkin. Tell you what, can you go get her ready for bed? Yeah. All right, come on. Whoa. Lily is out with Keith. Probably, yeah. It's perfect. We can go search the guest house. No, hold it. He's up a He's second. He's up, Jack. He's trying to take money out of his nephew's account. He's got a guy with a gun chasing him all over town. What's the love here? He cares about JJ, for one thing, and I've never seen him be anything but good to that kid. So? So? I've wrongly accused him once already, and it came back to bite me. I'm not gonna follow it up with an illegal search, and if Lily ever found out, she'd be furious. So why don't you just wait till you can speak to her about what you suspect? Until you can speak to Fine, her. Fine, whatever, but not tonight. She's out to dinner or whatever, and I thought we were gonna have a guy's night. All right, all right. Let's do it. Fine, let's go play some pool. Go. I need to speak to you. Hold hey, on. this is not a good time. Nobody asked hey, you. Hey, this is not a good time. Just or give place. me five minutes. What's it about? Billy, please. Is this about the kids? In a way, it is. No, it's about me, right? And come on, let's get out of here. Let's just go. Not until she knows. Knows what? Who you moved onto your property next door to our kids. This guy is a deadbeat. He skipped out on his bill at the Lakeview. That's not true. Look, if you think I'm after her money, that's your concern. You can relax. No, my concern is the guy with the gun who's trying to muscle you. What? Ask him. There's a guy in town who says that Keith owes him money, and he's armed. Joe? Oh, right. Joe. You know this guy? Yeah, I met him. He's an old friend of Keith's. Keith owes him a little money. That's all. Yeah, he, he came into town last night, stayed with me, and, uh, you know, he carries a gun because he's, he's an airline pilot. And it's got nothing to do with collecting from you. Don't tell me that you buy this you story. You need to leave now. Wait a second, wait a second. Um, yeah. Is this the guy? Is it? Yeah, it could be. Picture's a little old, though. Well, you see, we were in the service together, now we fly for the same airlines, and, uh, He's kind of like a brother to me. Like a brother? Yeah. Didn't seem like a brother or a friend. Were you eavesdropping? OK, this is getting a little embarrassing. We're going to go. Yeah, OK, fine. We are going to go. Hey, you have a nice night. All right. Sorry to interrupt you. We had no idea you were going to be here.
Tu lui demandes un gauche pour There's a game on in the other room if you want to do that. Or you can just break something. I've embarrassed myself enough for one night. Yeah, you have. I must have sounded like them. Our wives when they went after Julia. Yeah, you see a gun, then you automatically assume it's a leg breaker out to get Keith for money. <laughs> I must have sounded like a jealous husband. Mm, that happens. Are you? What? Jealous husband. And don't tell me it's the kids. Why don't you take a minute to think about that before you answer the question? Was I jealous? No, I don't think so, considering I told her that I didn't want to be married to her 500 times. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's different coming from her. Maybe. Maybe it was just a knee-jerk reaction, and I didn't like seeing her with somebody else. Mm -hmm. But the bottom line is, I'm still worried about my kids. Yeah, because Keith's so dangerous. Yeah. And Lucinda seems to think so, no, too. Lucinda, Lucinda thinks everyone's after Lily's money. That's because most of the time they are. Oh, it's different than being dangerous, Holden. Lucinda knows the difference. She's a good judge of people. The guy has a lot of debt. He's got some guy with a gun chasing after him. I think I have a right to be concerned, Jack. OK, I'll check him out for you if you want me to. No, you know what? Don't even bother. I don't want you to risk losing JJ. No, listen, I just don't want to make any trouble when there isn't any, but if the guy's bad news, if he poses a problem... Well, you just JJ, said that, that you haven't seen it. No. No, I haven't. You know what? Just forget it. We both probably should just forget it. Can you do that? I think I have to. So we don't want to embarrass myself anymore. Uh, we all, we've all been fools for love, Holden. You just gotta make sure that that isn't what it is. Check yourself, because if you're still in love with Lily, it's a whole different ballgame. 